hello and welcome. In this video, I am going over my experience with some very foolproof, waterproof Asian beauty mascaras. And that is because my eyelashes are quite finicky and you know if yours are too, because that's probably why you clicked on this video. If you have nice, long, curly eyelashes, this video, not for you. Um, mine are of East Asian descent, very, very short, very, very straight. They want to stick right down like this. Very hard to hold a curl. And if I don't curl them, they kind of just look really sad and floppy and like make my eyes look smaller because they're like flopping over my eyes. Uh, very frustrating. I have tried many a Western mascara, even the waterproof ones, and they'd all just look like nothing on my eyes. All right, so the ones I have to mention in this video are the Heroin Make Advanced Film line. I have both the Long and Curl mascara and the Volume and Curl. I find these to be quite similar, but I'll talk about their distinctions where I can see them. And uh, I find that this retails for about $12 on YesStyle, plus or minus a few, just because YesStyle is weird with pricing. And um, the Etude House Curl Fix mascara, which is a few dollars less. I saw it for like nine, ten dollars recently. So there is that. Um, let's try and break down the differences between these two. I guess first I should mention the way I prep my eyelashes is I always just use this Shiseido eyelash curler. It just happens to work to fit my eyeballs really nicely. And I just curl my top lashes and give them a couple crunches, try my best to make them stand up. My eyelashes are different on both sides. Very finicky, very annoying, whatever. So uh, the first one, I, I did actually try out a lot. Basically every heroin make volume, whatever. Every heroin make mascara, because they have ones with like different tubes and they there's ones that aren't advanced film. I don't find that much distinction between all of the heroin make mascaras, frankly, on me. I don't know, maybe my lashes aren't like long enough to, to, to see the effects of difference, but um, I did read somewhere that the advanced film is slightly easier to take off and from memory, I don't really remember if that is truly the case or not, but I have for the past few years been repurchasing just these. These have been my holy grail for a while. Um, and maybe that's because it is easier to take off. It's still like not, you're not getting it off with micellar water. You have to use like an oil-based cleanser to get these mascaras off. Um, so there is that. Uh, I, I can't really confirm whether the advanced film is easier than the other version to take off but what i do remember is that there wasn't that much distinction how they like made my eyes look uh i just kind of kept repurchasing this one because it was easy and accessible on yes style okay so uh the long and curl mascara these are both equally black and equally similarly very 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 similarly easy to use and give similar effects these give a very nice fluttery fluffy lash and i can apply it very easily and it doesn't get um it really does not clump together over at all and it looks really really pretty it's lengthening separating all those good things the um I, the make long and curl is a it's just a brush brush wand with like a overall similar circumference throughout the entire cylinder of the wand uh, so it, it's pretty even overall I find the curvature of this to be like just perfect for applying onto my under eyelashes so I like that um, this one in my head is kind of the most basic one and um, for whatever reason, I end up liking the volume and curl better. And I must say that despite its name being volume and curl, I like this better because I feel like I can achieve a slightly longer, flutterier lash. Um, so 
yeah, I hate the names of these products. It's so extra and doesn't really do what it advertises to, in my opinion. But in any case, the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara is my standing favorite right now. It has a both a taper to it and a curvature to it where um, on the inside of the curve the bristles are much shorter so you can kind of pack more product closer to your uh, lashes and build volume that way or where the bristles are really long you can build a really like pretty fluttery separated lengthened look i like to best apply it with the longest side of the bristle so like where it's the widest i go like this and this and that gives me the prettiest effect something that i really like about these mascaras is that they are super easy to use and pretty consistently pleasant um, throughout the entire lifespan of their when you open them i find that a lot of mascaras will change how they apply as they get wetter and drier uh, this one starts out as a not very like a relatively dry formula which i think lends itself to being very easy to make a like sleek and separated eye look and as it dries out like these tubes last me a year which you're not supposed to use mascara that long but frankly they last me a year uh this old one this one is a year old and it's it's still going strong in the demos i busted out a new one but and i should probably throw this out but i do still use this one sometimes and it's fine the only thing that really changes in terms of how these perform is that as they get older it doesn't hold a curl for as long and i honestly didn't really notice this until like this month basically is that well this mascara has been my holy grail for years and years and years and years and then one day i lost my current tube and i i was like in between um a couple i i hadn't yet received my new one so i was like ah, i busted this out which i tried a long time ago and hated and i used it in a pinch and i it, it, I, I learned some new things while I was using this in the pinch, and what I learned was that these don't actually hold the curl all day. Sadly, they just don't. Not on me, at least. So the fresh tube that I just opened holds a pretty, a very pretty curl for the first five hours. Then after that, it starts to droop and droop and droop until around hour seven, and then it's like, it's kind of like this. And past that, it's just, it's just sad, okay? It is now six or seven hours since I first applied it and you can definitely see it's drooped down quite a bit and then I find that with my very old tube I can only have it hold a curl for like maybe three to four hours and then it starts to droop so unfortunately while these look super pretty they're nice to apply they're like rough to remove but I've accepted that as part of my life it just is um like, I love these. The only flaw is that they don't hold curl quite as long as I would like. If these do for you, these are awesome. Like, they're just so pretty. And then personally, what I like for mascara is, like, long, lengthened, separated, fluttery sort of effect. Um, so, if that's what you like, these are really awesome. But going on to the Etude House Curl Fix. So... This one, I like, I really hated when I first applied it. And I still struggle to say that I fully like it, but frankly, it does hold a curl all day. Truly all day. But let me tell you the reasons why I really didn't like it at first. Uh, the wand is smaller, so you would think it has more control. The bristles, there's no fibers, and the bristles are very uniform, but the formula is so wet and sloppy when you first open it. I opened this first like a year ago, hated it, didn't use it for basically a year, and then started using it again this past month after my I had lost my previous mascara, right? Um, still really floppy and wet, and it makes a huge mess. 
The way I apply this is I apply it on my lashes, it clumps my lashes up together, and then I take a clean spoolie, brush it through, and then like with what gets on my spoolie, I'm able to like continue to reallocate the mascara and create a nice like long fluttery effect that I do enjoy and it holds a curl all day. But do you see how that's a lot of steps and just kind of a, a pain? Yeah. Another reason why I hate it is that because it's so wet, it it's messier to apply like i very easily end up with bits on my eyes when i'm applying it on my bottom lash like sometimes i'll get a smudge and then of course because these formulas are so waterproof it's a real pain in the butt when that happens and then the last reason why i really hate this is because it's got like an awful fume it's it's faded a bit over time but it was so so strong i can still sense it now and the fume is so like pungent that like when I'm applying on my lower lashes, I can, I can feel it kind of this like strong chemically essence wafting into my eyes and it's, it's awful and it kind of not quite stung, but it made my eyes water. And it was mainly that reason that I was like, okay, I'm not going to mess with this anymore. But I have noticed that, um, this is the only mascara I've tried really that holds a curl all day long i will continue my hunt because neither of these are hitting all the boxes for most days i still much prefer the heroin make because it's just so much easier to apply it looks pretty overall um it's just days if like i know i'm gonna have a long day maybe i'm going out for like i don't know stuff at night Maybe I'll make the effort of putting this one, the curl fix on, but it's really like a love hate with that one. So that's all I have to say on those. And I'm sad that I'm now aware that my Holy Grail mascara is not quite checking all the boxes for me. And I have to continue this journey of trying to find the perfect in-between mascara. Such a pain. Things like brows and mascara, like not fun. In any case, let me know if you have any suggestions. And thanks for watching.